What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm going to be looking at the Spigen Neo Hybrid Metal series for the iPhone 6. I couldn't wait to test this metal version because I'm always on a quest for the highest quality case that is available for the iPhone 6 because I want my iPhone 6 to be protected but also want the most premium feeling possible. They are available in many different colors so if you feel like picking one of these up then I will leave a link below for you to check it out. Just like the other Neo hybrids that came before it, the case comes in two different parts. There is a rubberized case that is the foundation of the case itself, as you can see, very easy to install. And the outside portion is made of a bumper that helps with the structural rigidity of this entire case. Now, this is a metal version. The prior versions were plastic, so it's not going to have as much flex. So you're going to have to work a little bit harder around the base to get it in there and make sure that it's all connected right on the corners here and just kind of work around it and make sure everything is in place. So there it is all installed and looks absolutely beautiful on the new iPhone 6. Now the only thing that I might say is that this is not a case that you're going to want to take on and off all the time because the outside metal band is on there very securely so you don't have to worry about that coming off but it is a little bit difficult to remove. I mean it's not impossible but that's something to think about. On the left side you will see the volume rocker buttons all nice and precisely cut and you also see a cutout for the mute toggle switch. On the bottom, you get the cutout for the speaker, the primary microphone, the lightning port, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the right hand side, you will see a nice power button there with a little bit of an indent groove so your finger can go in there more comfortably. And you can see that there's a nice lip around the display as well so it will protect it when it's face down on a surface. And it does all of this in a fairly thin package. So that's very impressive. Like with all other protective cases, you're going to feel a little bit of bulk in your hand, but it feels really good in the hand because of the materials that it's made of. Now the metal does give you that nice cold feeling on the side, and it does add some weight to your iPhone 6 as well, so that's also something to consider. But overall, the construction is absolutely beautiful. I loved using it on a day-to-day -day basis, and right now this is the case that is on my iPhone 6. While that aluminum finish on the back of the iPhone 6 is absolutely beautiful, it is very slippery in the hand. So this case has a rubberized textured back that is very grippy in the hand. And you can see that the Apple logo and the camera cutout is very recessed. So if you were to lay this down on a surface, it will protect that protruding camera. The power button on the right hand side definitely has a nice little groove for your thumb to fit in and I think that helps with the tactility. Now the power button is definitely softer in tactility than the volume rocker buttons on the other side, but I've had no problems with it on a day to day basis. Because of the thickness of the metal bumper, the one thing that got a little bit annoying is that the mute toggle switch is pretty hard to get to because it's so recessed in. So you're going to have to use a little bit of fingernail there to get inside to get to that mute toggle switch so it's not the easiest thing to access. Really in the end though, I'm just nitpicking because this is one of the best iPhone 6 cases available right now. And yes, it does feel a little bit wider in the hand because of that metal bumper, but it feels really great in the hand. And the one thing that you'll notice is it does bring the chamfered edges back to the iPhone 6 on the outside. And the way it's precisely cut, it is an absolutely beautiful case for the brand new iPhone. Some people may complain about the Apple logo being exposed and probably some people would want that covered for protection. And if you can put up with a little bit of bulk and a little bit of weight, I think this is one of the best cases available right now. So let me know what you think about the build quality of this Neo Hybrid Metal case. I'm very impressed with it. And let me know if you're interested in one of these. And if you have any questions at all, then make sure you hit me up on Twitter at Super Scientific and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.